It's a phenomenal 50. English footballing history rewritten before our eyes. Hey, football fans. Welcome to Sports Star Talks. Today, we're shining the spotlight on a player who's been causing a sensation on the pitch, Erling Haaland. As we witness his meteoric rise, it's impossible not to wonder, is Haaland destined to be the new king of the Champions League? Stick around as we unravel his journey, examine his impact in the competition, and contemplate the future that awaits this young football prodigy. To just win everything was just unreal when I think back of it that people were just like eight points behind, like, don't worry, we'll see in the end. And then that's exactly what happened. We just passed them and we just came like a big unit, uh, beating everyone. Before we start diving deeply into this video, every information and statistics are taken from Transfermark, Wikipedia, and some other sources found on the internet. I am not leading Erling stats only by myself. In case of something's not right, you are free to correct it in comments section. To understand the potential rise of Erling Haaland as the new king of the Champions League, we first need to rewind the clock and delve into the early chapters of his football journey. Born on July 21st, 2000, in Leeds, England, Haaland's football prowess became evident at a very young age. At just 16, Erling made the leap to professional football, signing with Moldy FK in Norway. It was here that he honed his skills, catching the eye of scouts and fans alike with his impressive goal-scoring abilities. At Molde, he bagged 20 goals in his 50 appearances as a professional footballer. Red Bull Salzburg noticed Haaland's ability as a complete striker, wanting him in their squad. The 2019-2020 season marked Haaland's breakthrough moment. Bursting onto the scene like a force of nature, Erling made an immediate impact, announcing himself with a hat-trick in his Champions League debut against Genk. His remarkable goal-scoring spree continued, making him the talk of European football. By the end of that season, Haaland had not only become the top scorer in the Austrian Bundesliga, but had also etched his name in Champions League history, finishing as one of the top scorers despite Salzburg not making it past the group stage. For RB Salzburg, in 27 matches, he scored 29 goals, and in his first debutant Champions League season, in just six games, he topped eight goals. Pretty amazing stats, I would say. In January 2020, the footballing world was buzzing with anticipation as Haaland secured a move to Borussia Dortmund. The transition to one of Europe's top leagues seemed seamless for the young striker as he continued to showcase his predatory instincts and extraordinary athleticism. Even though he already made a name for himself at Salzburg, it was time to go even further. For Borussia Dortmund, in 89 matches, he managed to score 86 goals and also 15 goals in 13 appearances in the Champions League. It's simply fascinating. In July 2022, Erling Haaland moved to Manchester City for a transfer fee of 51 million pounds, which is around 60 million euros or approximately $67 million. For a 21-year-old at the time, this sum is mind-blowing. Right now, Haaland has scored 71 goals in 73 matches for the citizens so far, with 17 of them in the UCL in 16 matches. I remember he had a shot and I thought, oh, don't know if this kid's going to score that much, but yeah, he proved me wrong. Haaland, he's through on goal. Haaland finishes. Here we are, year down the line. Great guy, won us a treble. Done all right, isn't it? Haaland helped Manchester City come from behind to beat RB Leipzig 3-2 on match day five of the UEFA Champions League 2023-24 season. City were down 2-0 at half time before Haaland pulled one back as City completed the win with further goals from Phil Foden and Julian Alvarez. Haaland has now become the fastest and also the youngest to 40 Champions League goals. Haaland raced to his 40th goal in the Champions League, making his 35th appearance. He has now broken the record for Ruud van Nistelrooy, who took 45 games to reach the milestone. Among active players, 
Kylian Mbappe, 59 matches, is behind Haaland. Meanwhile, Haaland has also become the youngest to 40 UCL goals. His Champions League tally just couldn't go better. And hopefully, there is a lot more to come. We will dive into the most interesting part of this video and compare the so-called future UCL king with the current UCL king. Cristiano Ronaldo holds the record for the most matches played in the UCL with a total of 183 matches. Erling Haaland currently has 35 matches, 148 matches less, with eight more to go this season. To beat this record, Erling would have to play at least 11 UCL seasons, not including this season, with at least 14 games per season, meaning six group stage matches, two X round of 16, two X round of eight, two semi-finals every time in the next 11 years without skipping more than five matches. He would have to play until he is 34 years old. This one record will be very difficult to break, and I don't know if he will be lucky enough to do it. The next record that Cristiano Ronaldo, aka the King, holds is the most goals in one UCL season, topping 17 goals. Right now, this season, Erling has five goals, with still one more game in the group stage. He is 13 goals away from breaking this record. If we sum up all the matches until the finals, Erling could play eight more matches, one group stage, two round of 16, two round of eight, two semi-finals, and the finale. That means Erling has to score 1.6 goals per match to achieve this record. I honestly think that this achievement is really possible and doable for Haaland. With his complete striker ability, this record won't be calm until Haaland is finished for sure. Can Haaland break it? Also, Cristiano Ronaldo has scored 140 goals in the UCL, securing the top spot. Haaland has 40 on his repertoire and has still 101 to go. With his goals per match ratio, this record looks pretty much doable and has medium difficulty. In his five UCL seasons, he managed to score 40 goals, which means eight goals per season, but this year's season is still not finished, and he could improve this statistic pretty easily. But let's say he scores 15 goals in this UCL season and boosts this statistic to 10 goals per season. He would then have 50 goals in five seasons and 91 more to break the record. Pretty much in nine to 10 seasons, he would be the new all-time top scorer of the UCL. Being 33 years old with a new record and having at least two more years to move it to an even harder space. Ronaldo has made 42 UCL assists, also having the most assists in this competition. Haaland has five assists in 35 games and still 38 assists to go before he breaks it. I would personally say this will be very, very difficult for Haaland since he isn't a playmaker. He would need to do at least four assists per season in his next 10 seasons to overcome this record. And since he does only one assist per season, this record seems very far to reach. Cristiano has won this competition five times. Haaland has won it already once. Four more until matching Ronaldo's record and five until breaking it. With this Manchester City team, Haaland will be able to pull this off, but five seasons will be a very hard job to do. I would rate this record as very difficult, but if Haaland wins it this season, it could make his way to the UCL top much easier. Ronaldo was seven times UCL top scorer, Haaland was already twice a top scorer, and following the same path this season, he will need this season and five more to come to overcome this record, or four to match it. If we look at Cristiano Ronaldo, his records and achievements overall, all the records that he made and is holding are extraordinarily hard to overcome. Of course, nothing is impossible, and it could happen someday that someone breaks those records. Haaland looks like a real contender for those records and is on a good path, but he will need longevity, desire, discipline, and most importantly, luck to beat all those records. Ronaldo set those records pretty high, and we have to respect that. Haaland is only 23 years old and has a lot more to come if he continues like this. So guys, what do you think about this? Will Haaland break Ronaldo's records? Will he become the new king of the UCL? Or will some other player achieve this feat? I would like to hear your opinions in the comments. And of course, if you want to support this channel, 
I would really appreciate your support. Thank you for joining me today on Sports Star Talks. Until next time, keep the passion for football alive and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.